Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to create a um, 3D model of the buildings in Manhattan. Um, so first thing you need to do is uh, click on the link below the video and that will take you to um, the open source um, data for the um, buildings shape file. So it's about 180 megs, so it's quite a large file. So uh, when you've downloaded that, you need to add it to your project. So um, choose the building 1214 one, not the historic one. Let's open that one up. Um, and you want to use WGS84 pseudo Mercator for this one. So let's OK that. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of buildings. There's actually over a million on this layer. So what I want to do is just filter it down just to the buildings that are over 150 feet tall. So in order to do that, just double click on your layer, go to general, and then just run a query. Now the column attribute heading we're looking for is the height underscore rue, and that is basically the column that has the height in feet of the buildings. So just say greater than 150, okay that. And that should uh, drastically reduce the amount of uh, buildings in your, in your map. So there we go, that's a lot less now. I'm just going to zoom into Lower Manhattan because that's the area I want to um, concentrate on for my map, just purely just to um, show you uh, how the, the plugin works. So next thing we want to do is add in a background layer. So go to Web, Open Layers Plugin, Google Maps and Google Streets and it should load in, load in a uh, Google Street Map layer behind. Or on top in this case. So I'm just going to move it underneath. So there we've got all of our uh, buildings mapped onto a Google Street Map layer. So next thing we need to do is to load in the 3GA, 3JS uh, plugin. Um, I've already got it loaded here. It's this one here. It looks like a little rectangle in a pink purple background. But if you don't have it, just go to Manage and Install Plugins and just type in 3 and you'll see it's the only one there. So install that one and then you'll see it here. So what we need to do is, first of all, I just want to change the um, color of my buildings. They're purple at the moment. So I'm just going to change them to a slightly different color. So I think we'll do them a nice blue. So we'll OK that. And now we just need to click on the 3JS icon. And we've got that settings here. So the one we want to click on is that building 1214 layer. Leave everything else as it is. You it should default to extruded. And the height here, this is the important thing we want to change. So change that to height underscore rue and leave the multiplier at one. That basically means that it won't scale up the buildings more than um, is necessary. If you think they're not tall enough, then by all means change the multiplier to two or similarly, if you think they're too tall, you can change it to a half or whatever you wish. Um, next thing you need to do is browse to where you want to save the files. So let's go to a desktop, Worldmaster. I've got a Manhattan folder here. I'm just going to save it as Manhattan. Save that. And all we need to do now is just hit the Run button. And what this will do is it will just quickly run through. It doesn't take very long. And it will create a series of files in your Manhattan folder. So let's just go to the finder and desktop, world master Manhattan. So this is all of our files now. And the one you need to use to, in order to be able to see the um, visualization is the Manhattan HTML. So just get a browser window open and then just drag your HTML file into your window. And it will take a little bit of time to load depending on how good your um, operating system and powerful your computer is. But there you go, there's your 3D visualization now. And you can just use a um, mouse to um, zoom in using the scroll wheel to zoom. And click and drag to rotate it around. So it's a very neat tool this allows you to create um, 3D visualizations. I think it's um, 
very impressive. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, give it a try for yourself. You can obviously apply this sort of thing to anything you want really. You can, uh, you can have it for population data for countries, you can extrude your country polygons, it doesn't have to be buildings. But this is just to give you an idea of um, what it's capable of and um, how to use the 3JS plugin.